to you a little bit about what to look for in a babysitter. Um, we've obviously been placing babysitters for over 17 years, and so we have a lot of experience and know what to look for, but I um, just want to give you some ideas of uh, five things that you should look for in a great babysitter. Um, the first thing is the introduction call, and for us, you know, we place a, a babysitter with a family, and then our um, sitters call and follow up and do an introduction, but, it, you know, it could be that your friend um, gave you the number of someone down the street or someone that they've used, and it's really just that first, um, you know, phone interview kind of that you have with them where they tell you a little bit about themselves. Um, that can either make you feel comfortable or it can make you a little bit uneasy. So you just want to make sure that even in that intro call, if you have some sort of feeling about them, that, you know, you act on that instinct and, and they should really make a great first impression even the, over the phone. The second thing is the greeting. When they show up at the door, you know, do they get right down to the child's level? Do they say hi? Are they really personable? Um, or they just kind of, you know, walk in and just don't really make much of an impression. That's really important that you, again, feel comfortable leaving your child there and, and that, you know, everything's under control, that they're very professional, knowledgeable, know right what to do. Um, the third thing is activities. And this is, you know, what, what did they do while you were gone? Did they sit them in front of the TV? Did they, you know, play a game? Did they do a craft? Did they... Um, you know, run around outside. I mean, how how um, exciting and active was it for your child? And obviously, if your child's a baby, there's still things that you can do. Or, you know, maybe they had a little time and they emptied your dishwasher for you or something. So what did they spend their time doing? That's another thing to look at. Um, the fourth thing is your, your children's response. Um, you know, my kids will tell me if they did or didn't like a sitter, they'll tell me specifics about it, or they'll tell me if they're really excited to have that person back, and that is just going to make all the difference in the world, because if I felt comfortable, but then I came home and my kids were saying it wasn't a fit, then, you know, I have to definitely listen to that. Um, and the last thing is just how communicative were they to you about the job at the end, you know, did they just try and take the money and leave, or did they say, you know, here's the things we did, and, you know, we had so much fun, and, you know, we have our sitters leave a nanny note so that um, it'll tell you a little bit about what they did and, you know, what activities they did. And that makes me feel a lot more comfortable because I know that, you know, they just didn't park in front of the TV or sit there texting or, you know, that they actually had a lot of fun things to do. So just make sure at that wrap-up that you feel like, you know, it was a good overall impression. Thank you.